Hello. Hi. We are here. It's time. Once again, we're, uh, what we got? Five decks? We have five decks left. Top five. Five decks left. Five we're going to be down to two. two. We're finishing off to some, like, no, We're going to be on to three. <laughs> we're going to be on to three. If you're watching live, we'll be down to the finals for tomorrow, which I think we'll finish off tomorrow. Oh, yeah, you're right. Tomorrow, so, right? yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're doing this match, so Vader Green versus Cassian Yellow, then Palpatine versus the winner. The winner of that. And then Krennic and Tarkin square off. Yep. So the winner of Krennic and Tarkin has got like the advantage, right? Because then they have to lose two rounds in a row. Yeah, two matches in a row. Um, to, to actually lose the tournament. So uh, either Krennic or Tarkin is going to sit pretty, and the other one has to go get fed to whatever is down here. Whatever's lurking down here, <laughs> waiting, um, stall counts. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, hero yellow red versus villain red green. I think hero yellow red has a slight advantage, but okay. uh, I do think um, red green's got the tools. I think there's draws where it just kind of like. I think it, uh, it answers everything. A good overwhelming barrage. Yeah, it answers space it, stuff. It answers everything that hits the table. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, that's the the traditional, I think, green red mo of beating these uh these hero aggro decks. The uh there are Vader's in uh all yeah. of the decks except for Cassian. <laughs> all yeah. of the villain decks left. There are Vader units. There's I don't Vader, actually think that's a, green. I don't think that's actually a surprise. They're all ramping in some way. Yeah. It's yeah. It's not very surprising, but. I also think this tournament was more about like less of what deck is the best, more so what deck's the easiest for to play. Like yeah, could without, be without super a lot of familiarity because we're yeah. we're picking up a different. I deck mean, every Han, Han Green got did dirty by this. It did. Yeah, uh, there was a bunch of other decks that I think are better than their performance in the tournament. Yeah, I think Sabine Red Yellow. Honestly, I think Sabine Red Yellow probably got a fair shake in the tournament. It's just. When you play a deck like that that has a very linear game plan, you you, you can run into decks that are just going to destroy you. Yeah, they just counter it. That um, kind of just so, happened. Yeah, I do think uh, I do think there were some matchup things that happened as well. Yeah, where it, yeah. Uh, I th I think in a game where you have this much uh, possible decks, you're going to run into just nightmare scenarios where you're like, "How are you playing this deck?" But um, we'll have to see what the next set does. You got initiative. I will mulligan. All right, I'll keep. I got to reorient my brain for Star Wars. I'm playing too much magic. I played a bunch of magic this weekend. Yeah. Two three for two isn't even that good in in magic. <laughs> that used to be a really good stat line. Yeah. And does have sixteen abilities. It's funny how like the hundred best creatures when I played recently, uh there might be one or two of those that are still make the cut. Um I, they've probably printed they've probably printed two hundred creatures better than Psychotog. Yeah. Um yeah. Uh, I will pass. Passing. Uh, I'm going to play R2-D2, <laughs> and we're going to take a look at the top card. <laughs> we will... I do like this card. I do like this card specifically in this matchup. But we're going to put it under. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. I'm going to force choke. The droid. The right. draw. <clears throat> I don't think that's how it's spelled, but I give you credit because you're a doctor. I'll play Spec Force Soldier. Take it. I'll pass. Mm. 
Only a super laser tech. All right, so now the question is, do I waylay that or do I just go for the damage? Um, because I have a fleet lieutenant and I have a waylay. Uh, right, like, I, it's, it's tough to say. I feel like waylay puts you, like, waylay is a time walk here, right? Like, it gives me an extra turn. I'm not getting, like, crazy amount of damage in. The fleet lieutenant... Um, the fleet lieutenant gets me four damage, puts you to 26. I think it would be like a lot cleaner if I was able to draw a card with Cassie in this turn. Um, I get two units, you can trade the soup laser tech for the spec force, or but um, hmm. you have to. I don't know, we're going for the fleet lieutenant play. Uh, I'll hit you for four. There's an argument to waylay whatever you ramp into, right? Like, yeah, I'll take initiative. Waylay, waylay. This is like a tr an equivalent trade of resources, right? I actually, I go minus one card, but I give you like a huge tempo loss. Mm -hmm. All right, um, pass. Uh, All right, we'll go ahead and run into the Spec Force Soldier. All right, the uh, Fleet Lieutenant's going to attack you for three. Play a TIE Fighter. I'll play a K2. I'll Vader your base, plus um, the Fleet Lieutenant. Now I'll take initiative. Yes. Ooh, okay. I, so I think it was the right call then. Because you didn't follow that up with with much. Nope, I sure didn't. Did not follow that up with much there. Okay. Uh, I am going to surprise strike the fleet lieutenant in for six. All overwhelming barrage and blast K2. He's blasted. Uh, I'll do three damage to you. Um, I'll wing leader and buff the fleet lieutenant. I'll take it before. Okay. And I'll take initiative. I'll Vader ping the wing leader. And pass. Hmm. Okay, um, Fleet Lieutenant is going to your base for five. Yeah. I'll play a sublock guard. I'll deploy Andor. I'll ping Andor and your base. Um, Andor's gone to your dome for four, and I'll draw a card. I'll deploy Vader. I'm going to play a Gorilla Attack Pod. I'm going to give Cellblock Guard a Fallen Lightsaber. Hmm, interesting. 
Um, I'm going to take initiative. There, I'll hit you for two. I will attack Andor, and I'll do two to the fleet lieutenant. And then I'll pass. Okay. What am I resourcing here? I have to decide if... I, th I think the tap out strategy is just incorrect here. I think. I think it ends up being real bad. So then I have to go for, I have to like keep my options open. I had Han in my hand. I could play Han yeah. and kill a cell block guard. Um, then Vader can attack, kill the fleet lieutenant. Um, you can't really yeah, attack. That, yeah. um, what do you play on? Play on a table. Yeah, we're playing on a table. <laughs> a physical table. This is the two-player mat. All right. So we are going to... Um, waylay the cell block guard. Play a cell block guard. All right, two card, three cards in hand. Mm -hmm. Okay. We can trade Fleet Lieutenant for the Cell Block Guard. You get five open still. The Invader can trade with the Attack Pod. Um, five open. I wonder if I'm supposed to Spark there. Um, I do have a Spark in my hand. Um, I guess we'll have Fleet Lieutenant fight the Cell Block Guard. Um, he's toast anyway, right? So may as well get the trade off. Yeah, he's dead just Vadering. Play of the years. Okay. Uh, so I can heroic sacrifice for six. Yeah. That'll do it. That'll do it. So I'm, I'm definitely nervous about this matchup for Vader. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Right. Right. The I I can't like get damage off my base. Um. Yeah. The the damage sits just sits there, right? Like yeah. if you if I keep presenting dangerous enough threats, you have to keep fighting them and then eventually the four causes get you or whatever, right? Like Okay. I think we bring these in. Um there's two change of hearts in the sideboard, right? E uh, yes. Yeah. Uh is that there were two missing cards there? Yeah. Then yeah, probably. I think Change of Heart is good in this matchup. You like overwhelming barrage me. Like you have an issue of you overwhelming barrage and then I change of heart the thing that you overwhelmed. That was the um uh did anybody play Magic Standard when uh Valakut was a deck? Um the tech against Valakut was you would let, let them ramp into the primeval titan. Oh, and you steal it? And then you would act a treason it. And you played the plus two, plus O oh lands. They would come and play exhausted. So you would act a treason, steal their primeval titan, hit them for ten. Oh, shit. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I actually think Greedos come out. Um, he's just like toast. 
casually choked out by Vader at every yeah. opportunity. Yeah. Yeah. The only problem with the rolling barrage in this Vader deck is it's like usually not good on turn five. Yeah, on on exactly. It's five. like it's gonna get like a, a, sh a short troopers like best case scenario. Yeah, I can see that. So it's usually only doing ten. Sometimes it can do. Or sorry, I'm only doing four. Sometimes it can do five if I have like a cell block guard somehow or veers yeah. or whatever. But usually that's that's pretty rare too. Yeah, that that's why that overwhelming barrage with Tarkin is so sweet because mm -hmm. it's like you played something it's gradually getting bigger and then overwhelming like rewards you for the the fact that you've invested in something yeah it's incredibly it's like way better in the deck for sure there's like probably an argument to not play it in this Vader deck which is maybe it sounds insane because it's really good when uh, Vader comes out you could it's maybe not a three of it could be yeah. like a two of right yeah two of is probably like a third in the cyborg or something mm -hmm. I mean like when Vader comes out and you have a long barrage it's usually like the game yeah you but, but if like if Vader's out and like being impactful he's always impactful at that point if the problem is like if you, at that point of the game you need him to be able to take back the game yeah does that make sense? Because right. if you're too far behind, Vader does not get you back in the game. Yeah. If it's like close, then he can get you back in the game. Yeah. And he can take over he the can, game. He can kill two units depending on how you've like spread damage around, but like against the aggro decks, that might not be enough, yeah. right? Like Okay. Hmm, what is what is the second resource here? Is it that? I guess so. Okay. Tie a tie. I'll play a Sabine. Ding a Sabine. I'll take initiative. Pass. Ooh. Hmm. All right. Yet again, I find myself in an interesting territory. Um. Okay, force choke is the scenario in which I get absolutely wrecked. All right, I'm going to um, Fleet Lieutenant Sabine in for five. Play a super laser tech. Right, I will take initiative. Thank you for two. And pass. Hmm. Can I can I afford this? I can't. So hmm. Hmm. I guess it's this. I really wish people could see my hand. I'm I'm like thinking out loud. You can do this and show them. Yeah, okay, so... When you're saying this, it's, it's pretty readable. Um, yeah, so I resourced... Um, this is my hand, and this was what I resourced. I resourced this, because this turn I can do both of these, um, and then that leaves me uh, space for that on the following turn. Um, all right, we're going to surprise strike Sabine in for six. All right. Uh, I'll fight Sabine. Okay. 
Um, I get my damage in with the fleet lieutenant for three. I'll take for two. Okay. I'll spark of rebellion you. Later saber, interceptor, and walker resupply. Okay, it's, uh, it's the resupply. Yeah. Yeah, I should uh, play resupply there, I guess. Uh, I'll yes. play so if this I, here thing. So if I had played my red three, I get absolutely dominated by this uh, imperial interceptor, right? Okay. You take initiative. Um, yeah, I'll take initiative. All right, I'm gonna ping fleet lieutenant in base. Yeah. Okay. I pass. Yeah, that was not good. I'd say that's pretty bad. I'd say that's probably the worst thing that's ever happened. Fader's Saber. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Um, Is it you? It's got to be this, not that. Is it you? I'm like quibbling over how to eke out damage in this matchup. Um, this is my hand currently. I drew these two. I can only play one of them this turn. So uh, we're saving these for the icers, right? Like these, these are there to try to close out the game. So the question is, which of these two do I resource? Um, I can resource this and play this, play the fighters. Or I can resource the fighters and play the wing leader. Um, the wing leader's like toast, right? Like he's got either Vader's ability or the stuff in space to kill it. Um, but uh, the bonus on the fleet lieutenant is pretty good. He'd have to like overwhelming or force choke or maybe even open fire to kill the fleet lieutenant if I uh, wing leader buff it. Um, uh, I think I've talked myself into Fighters for Freedom. I'm just going to, so we'll resource the wing leader. All right, uh, Fleet Lieutenant is going to attack for three. Yeah, I can, also, I can also get a card draw with uh, Cassie in this turn, a Stormtrooper. All right, I'm going to play Fighters for Freedom. I'll attack your base for three. Um, yeah, I take three. All right, uh, is it... Do I just grab initiative here, or um, do I draw a card with Cassian? There's like an argument to just grab initiative, let him do whatever. Um, I might need the cards to finish off the game though, so I'm gonna draw a card off of Cassian. Now I'll take initiative. All right, see, uh, I felt like there was a pretty good chance that he would just take initiative there, so. Um, all right, uh, in that case, I'll play R2-D2. We drew R2-D2 off of Cassian. We'll take a look at the top card there. All right, I don't think that card is good anymore, so we're going to resource it. Um, all right, and then pass. All right, this is a fairly easy resource there. Okay. We will start with Vader. The old tap-out Vader. I can do Mahdi and Stormtrooper or a cell block guard. I think I need cell block guard. Just winging your Cassian. No, it was not at six. It was at five resources, right? And they will fight the fighters. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Um, okay. I am going to deploy Cassian. Uh, attack the fleet lieutenant. Okay. Um, Cassian is going to hit you for four and draw a card. I'll attack you for three. Okay. I am... Going to 
play a uh, spec force soldier. We'll make the cell block guard lose. Blue Vader. Um, RTDT is going to attack your base for one and look at the top card. Um, yeah, I guess we'll leave that right there. Oh, attack and ping Cassian. He's toast. He's got to go. All right. I am going to for a cause I believe in. Ooh. Um, so we got one miss, two, three. And or hits for four with his power. Yeah, he is a uh, four attack. He is a four six saboteur. You got three? Uh, that's correct. I did three. What was it? Um, Fleet Lieutenant, Gorilla, Attack Pod, R2-D2, Waylay. Um, so, I, a 4 cause goes here, I am... About to start playing in set 2, though you can't have two unique characters out as leader, not count in that rule. So it's two, uh... uh has to be the name... Uniquely titled. Plus the subtitle. So Cassian Andor is dedicated to the Rebellion, and then the new Cassian has some sort of other subtitle. Yeah, now, so if right? they made, like, this is a Vader unit, this is a Vader leader, if they made a third Vader unit, Darth Vader... It would be a different subtitle, and you could yeah. have all of them on the board at the same time. Yeah, there's very likely in the because there's a the next the following set, the one for November is looking like it's going to be prequel stuff. So you so could have a young Vader, Darth Vader, who's Anakin, not in the suit yet, right? Um, and that would be um, there. So, all right. So the fleet lieutenant's going to uh, chillax. Um, I'm going to. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the fleet lieutenant there. Or actually, I wonder if I have to just mill for another for a cause. Um, all right, R2, Gorilla Attack Pod, and uh, Waylay are gone. We'll leave the fleet loop lieutenant there. I'll take initiative. Um, okay, I will play a green squadron A wing because that forces you, that dictates some amount of your actions there. So, um, okay, I'll pass, um, draw to. Uh, resource resource something resource nothing I guess I'll resource this I don't I don't think she'll get to do anything Palpatine I'll do three four five six oh, he's not dead this is a unit Okay. Um, all right. I guess I'm going to Fleet Lieutenant R2 into the cell block card. Uh, on attack, we'll take a look at the top card. Um, all right. So 10, 17 does not kill me. But this doesn't win. So I guess that's gonna go under an R2's toast. I'll fight the fleet lieutenant. Okay. Um I will take initiative. Okay. Thank you for three, four, five, ten. Alright. And pass. Uh, I think it was the turn where I opted to draw instead of take the initiative. I think if I had taken the initiative, I think it would have been in better shape. Um, I can change a heart Palpatine, but you killed me by attacking. I'm at, wait, I'm at 12? You're at 22. Oh, I'm going to change a heart Palpatine. Play Reinforcement Walker. And I'll discard whatever this is. That was game three. Okay. Uh, Palpatine will make the ultimate sacrifice. Sacrifice for eight? Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Ooh. 
Palpatine was resolved. Yeah, I guess I, there's no really way for me to play around that. Uh, you could attack in with Vader. Like, unit Vader kills him. Oh, but you have, to sack your, into you have to sack your leader, right? Yeah. Maybe, I guess that's the play. Yeah. Because I, yeah. Well. <laughs> yep, that's my fault. Goodbye, Vader. You're dead. Vader's dead now. You're dead forever. Cassian's still chugging. Chugging along. Okay, uh, I gotta take the... I gotta get the Vaders out of here. Yeah. Change of hearts are out. The Spec 4 soldier is out. Greedo's back in. Welcome back, Greedo. Cassian is now in... Uh, it's top four. There's yeah, he's the... definitely in top four. He's got to play against this Palpatine deck. I actually don't hate ch uh, Cassian's chances against this Palpatine yeah, deck. Yeah, for real. So next is Cassian Yellow versus Palpatine Yellow. And then we go to the semifinals. So then we just have to, we have the losers round to finish out next time, and then the finals finals after that. All right, so we are, if you're watching live, we're taking a brief, brief pause to uh, swap to the next video. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, we thank you for watching. Yeah, appreciate it. Hit that like and subscribe button. Um, check out our... Uh, As I push these unsleeved Vaders across uh, the table to you. These are to the target deck now? Yeah. Okay. Those are to either Krennic or Tarkin. Okay. I'll put them in Tarkin. Okay. We'll need the Vaders from the Palpatine deck for Krennic, I guess. All no, right. I'm on Cassian. Okay. So, Cassian deck has not been changed. I don't think any of the decks have been changed since nah. the last few times. Yeah. We're kind of letting them ride out at this point right. with how they were. Um, all right, let me go. we got to change the video. So thanks for watching, everybody. Appreciate everybody hanging around. And goodbye, but don't but stay here for your life. But, yeah, if you, but also thank you. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>